Okay, here's problem 13 from the math subject GRE practice test. Uh, what I'm told here is that I have a continuously, a continuously differentiable real valued function um, on this open interval negative one to four. And I know that f of three equals five. It'll help to graph this guy, so I'm gonna do that. So here's one, two, three, and the height here is five. One, two, three, four, five. We're talking about this point right here. And the other thing I know is that f prime of x, so the slope of the tangent line to this graph, is greater than or equal to negative one for all x values. And what I'm asked is what is the greatest possible value of f of zero? So f of zero is talking about the height right here on the y-axis. And so how high up could this be? What's the highest this could possibly get to? Well, this is going to get really, really high if my slope is very, very negative. And if it's really, really negative, then I can get way the hell down here. But unfortunately, there's a limit to that, F, or maybe fortunately. F prime of x is greater than or equal to negative 1. So the furthest negative this thing can possibly get is negative 1. So worst case scenario, I only get one higher every time I take a step over. One higher, one higher. So if I was at 5 right here and I took three steps over, 1, 2, 3. The highest I could possibly get would be three more than that, aka eight. So um, I guess you could actually cite the linear function that would make this as bad as possible. Um, but really, it's just because of this constraint right here, you're just going to assume that the slope is always, the slope of the tangent line is always as bad as possible, um, as far negative as possible. And that allows you to only get this high. So f of zero would be what less than or equal to eight, I guess. So when it asked me what's the greatest possible value, the answer would be eight.